Hi guys, Tim Ford here. So I recently discovered how awesome multicam editing is in Premiere, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on it. So today I'll quickly cover how to create and edit a multicam sequence, how to add additional camera angles after the sequence is created by Premiere, and how to deal with nested audio issues in the multicam sequence. So right now we're in Premiere Pro CC 2017. This is a three camera shoot of a dance recital. Now each camera has its own audio, and I want to be able to quickly edit all three cameras, including the audio. And I also want to add an additional camera angle from the second night of this performance. Okay. So here's what I have. I have the camera angles from night one, and I have an additional camera angle from night two here. And I want to first create a multicam sequence out of these clips. So what I'll do is I'll select these clips. And I'm going to select the clip with the best audio first, which happens to be this one. And then I'll control click the other cameras. And then right click and choose create multi camera source sequence. Okay. So in here, you can choose the name of the sequence. So right now I have custom chosen. You could choose to use the video clip name uh, or the audio clip name. I'm going to use custom and we'll just call this uh, multi cam demo. And then how to synchronize the camera angles. There's a few ways you can do this. So if you've already chosen in or out points that are synced up, you could do that. If the clips have embedded time code, you could do that. What I always do though is use audio and what this does is Premiere will analyze the waveform of each clip and then sync all the cameras up based on the waveform. And if you're shooting something like I did where it's a continual performance and the audio uh, in each clip is consistent, then this should work just fine. So I have three clips here. They're all about 40 minutes long each. They're the exact same performance. So when Premiere is analyzing these waveforms, it'll have no problem uh, syncing these clips up for me. Uh, the sequence preset, I leave that at automatic. And then this is move source clips to process clips. And so what's going to happen is Premiere is going to create this multicam uh, sequence for me. And then it'll, it'll move the three clips used in this multicam sequence into a new bin. Okay. Audio, this is important. Um, I do want to be able to edit all of the audio from every single camera angle. So this is three different camera angles. Each camera has its own audio source, and I want to be able to get to all those audio sources. So I'll choose all cameras here. You know, I could choose just camera one, which would just use the audio from camera one, but I do want to be able to, to uh, use all cameras. And the presets, I'm going to use stereo. And this is just uh, the names of the tracks. We're going to say enumerate cameras. That way it says camera one, camera two, camera three, etc. All right. So when I say OK, uh, Premiere is going to go ahead and analyze these clips and create my multicam sequence for me. OK, so that's done. And the first time I did this, I didn't really know exactly what had just happened. Uh, there's a clip here in my bin which if I double click on, I get this. I don't really know, I didn't know what was going on. How do I get to this stuff? And then uh, here are the process clips. So it put all the process clips into a new bin. So what do you do with this little clip here? All right, well, so what you have to do is right click on this clip and choose new sequence from clip. And this will drop this into the timeline. And there it is, okay. So now you're thinking, okay, well, that's great. But what do I do now? There's nothing I can't really get to this stuff. Where's the, where are the camera angles? Well, you have to actually create a new button in order to go into the multicam mode. And the way you do that, right here, button editor. And the multicam editor is right here. Drag this onto your toolbar. Say OK. And now when I click this, now I can get to all the cameras and we can start editing. OK. So how do we start editing? Well, all we have to do is just play it. Let's go to where there's actually three cameras around here. If I play this, I can just start clicking to choose different camera angles. Okay, and if I zoom in, let's go down there and use the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in. Let's move down a little bit. And you can see what happened. Here's an edit, here's an edit. Here's an edit, and you can see over here that the edits are being created. So pretty simple. And honestly, the old way I used to do this, I, I, I was so confused by this at first that I just went ahead and created picture-in-picture uh, -picture effects and edited 
uh, all the picture in pictures. If you're doing that, stop immediately. Use this instead. It's way easier. Okay. So how do we refine these edits? You know, maybe you want to move this edit point down a little bit. What you're going to do there is use the rolling edit tool. So that's in on the keyboard or this icon here. And what you can do is let's zoom in a little bit. And you can click and drag to refine an edit point. Right, and then if you want to change camera angles, you know, obviously right here I go from a wide shot to a wide shot. Maybe this should be a more close-up shot. If I click on the actual clip in the timeline and click on a different camera angle, it jumps to that camera angle. You can also right-click the clip and choose multi-camera and choose which camera you want to use. And uh, also, as you're editing, let's go and play some more of this, of this uh, timeline. You can use the number of keys on the keyboard. So if I'm playing this, I can use one, two, and three on the keyboard. So that's one, two, three are the clips or the camera angles in the uh, multicam sequence. So if I start playing, I go one, and then three, two, and then stop. You can see that I created more edits down here. All right? Pretty cool and very fast and very easy to do. Okay, so that right there might get you where you need to be in terms of using multicam editing. But if you want some more options, keep watching. Um, there's more you can do here. So suppose that you have, like I do, you have a, another camera angle from the next night. Obviously, if I had tried to sync the second night with the first night, Premiere would, have, would not have been able to do that. So how do we do that? Well, what you can do is go to the multicam demo clip in your timeline right-click and choose Open in Timeline. And that's going to open up the source of all this stuff we've just created. And you can see here that here's all the audio tracks. Here's all the video tracks. So I can play this. I can turn these on and off. So you can see all the camera angles that Premiere synced up for me. And we can add more video tracks and more audio tracks. So let's do that. So let's find uh, Right here, let's say I want to drop in the next camera angle, which is over here. Open this up. And suppose I want to go to the second song. And I can use the waveform to do this. So clicking, clicking here will open up my waveform editor. And I can see that the second song starts right around here because there's a break or a lull in the audio, which means this song ended here. This one in, uh, begins here. So let's find where that starts exactly. Right about there, mark an endpoint. And then down here, we'll find, let's turn this audio up a little more. Let's find where the audio starts down here. Right about there. So right about there is where that song starts. And now I need to create uh, a new audio track and a new video track. So let's right click here and choose uh, add tracks. So I want a new one new video track and I actually want uh, two new audio tracks. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to tell it to drop it into V4 and then drop A1 and A2 to A11 and A12. Okay. And then I also need to mark an out up here. So let's find where the song ends, which appears to be right about here. All right, so I'm marking out point there. And now that my endpoint set, I have an endpoint set here, outpoint set here. I have these tracks uh, marked where I want this to go. Let's go ahead and overwrite. And now we have a new camera angle, which should be pretty well synced. And let's go back to the multicam demo. And this is at 522. So let's go up to 522 and see if we have a new camera that shows up. And sure enough, we do. So you can see right around when that comes in, right there. So now I have, let's make this a little bigger too. Right. So now I have four camera angles to pick from. I have one from the right side, one from the left side I can pick from. So if I play this, right, so as I play it, I can start choosing different camera angles. I'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead.
ahead and take a look at what I did. So there's my edits. All right. Pretty cool. So that's how you add another camera angle within a multicam uh, sequence. All right. Okay, so let's go back to that sequence that uh, is kind of the sequence that I was editing that uh, Premiere created when it created the multicam uh, clip. And I'll show you an issue that arises when you do something like I did where you have multiple cameras with lots of tracks of audio. Uh, what happens is that Premiere assigns these tracks of audio to different channels. And what happens is if I try to play anything after A1 and A2, let's say a solo A8 and A9, you can see it's trying to play, but my computer just has two speakers. It has basically A1 and A2, and that's it. So I don't have really a multi-channel, multi-audio uh, setup here. It's just a standard computer with two standard computer speakers, so I can't hear uh, channels A8, anything. I basically, I can't hear anything past A1 and A2, so how do I fix that? Well, if you go up here, if you go to Windows, there's actually you can go to Audio Clip or Audio Track Mixer. But you, can, you can also just go over here, Audio Track Mixer. And what we're looking at is how these tracks of audio have been assigned and what channels they've been assigned to. So if you look at um, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, so A1 and A2 are assigned to A1 and A2, that's normal. A3 and A4 are assigned to 3 and 4 here, okay? So the track output channel assignments have been selected as uh, 3 and 4. I can change this back to A1, or sorry, I can change this back to 1 and 2 by clicking there. And I can go to every single one of these and choose 1 and 2, you know, across the board. I'll keep doing this here. And what this will let me do is hear the audio from every single channel. All right. And do these. Okay. Okay, now when I push play, I'll hear audio from every single camera that's in my timeline. Oops, it's not so all those. Okay. All right, so that's every single camera's audio in the timeline. Now, when I do this, an issue happens where if I go back to my multicam sequence, for some reason my waveforms are gone. I don't know why Premiere does this, but my waveforms are all gone. I don't know why. So how do you deal with that? Well, there is a workaround. What you can do is create a nested sequence. But before you do that, what I recommend you do is you know, if you have, like I do, where I wanted to have another camera angle added, make sure you add all your camera angles, get that all synced up, get that all ready to roll. And once that's done, what you can do is just highlight the entire sequence, right-click, choose Nest, and we'll name this uh, Nested Multicam Sequence. Say OK. And now we have this nested video sequence which in and of itself isn't much of anything, but if I right-click this, go to multi-camera and choose Enable, now I'm back to a multi-cam sequence that I can now edit just like I did before, only now all of my audio channels show up with waveforms, and I can edit this instead of this. Okay, It's the same thing. It's the same exact type of sequence. So I can go through, play it, Let's look at what I did, and there's my edits, okay? So that's just a workaround if you have a situation like I did where I had, geez, what, nine or ten audio channels, twelve audio channels, and I needed to be able to edit all of them, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's how you create a multicam sequence. That's how you edit a multicam sequence. That's how you add a new camera, and that's how you can create a multicam sequence with all of your audio waveforms showing. Okay, and one other thing, uh, the nested sequence that Premiere created, you can actually look at it. If you double-click the sequence that it created, you can look at the uh, original uh, sequence before you nested it. So if you needed to add more camera angles, you could. You could do it here. But, um, but yeah, that's how you would get back to the, the original sequence that uh, was created when you nested uh, this guy here. So I hope this helped you guys.